Meet Julian Burnside, barrister, human rights and refugee advocate, author, articulate wit, QC. Now, he's also an art collector. And here he is with his wife, Kate Durham, an artist. And his house is just filled with art. As a matter of fact, I think it's one of the most beautiful museums in all of Melbourne. He also loves words. And for example, here's a book he wrote about word watching. He wrote a children's book, but one of his primary concerns is justice and injustice and refugee rights. And uh, I sat down with him in his office at the top of some skyscraper in Melbourne, and we talked philosophy, rights, and the question, are we alone? Do you think we're alone in the universe? It depends on what that means. Um, if that means, uh, do there exist right now in the universe creatures who we would accept as sentient beings, then my instinct is to say probably not. But if the question means, are we the only sentient life form that ever has existed or ever will exist in the universe, I think the answer is very probably um, no, we are not the only one. I, I think sentience really is uh, imposed by us on other creatures by, um, by our capacity to imagine ourselves in their position. I mean, most people can imagine themselves being a dog because everyone's grown up with dogs or cats and they see dog behaviour and cat behaviour which in some vague way parallels their own behaviour. I mean, you know, you burn a dog or a cat and they'll yelp in pain and all of that's easy to understand. They, we see them behave in ways that we can identify with. Worms, not so sure. Have you ever met people who have seen UFOs? Uh, no, but I've met people who might think they've been, <laughs> uh, who've seen UFOs uh, because I get a fair portion of people contacting me who I think are arguably crazy. This course that we're talking about is, are we alone? Well, how did we get here? Well, it has a lot to do with trying to figure out who we are in the universe. Well, my first inner response is, we may just be a fleeting episode in the life of this planet, or and certainly a fleeting episode in the life of this universe. Um, I, I think the human species is an interesting experiment which will fail sooner rather than later. Oh, how soon? Well, let's think. Homo sapiens I'm talking about in mm -hmm. particular. Homo sapiens have been around, what, for 200,000 years? Mm -hmm. um, the dinosaurs ruled the Earth for, what, four million years? Mm -hmm. A little bit longer, like 200 million. 200 million? Mm -hmm. Well, there you go. <laughs> have we got another 199.8 <laughs> million <laughs> years in us? I don't I think don't, so. I don't think so either. Okay, let's role play. I'm an alien. I've come to the Earth planet and I'm going to destroy everything on the planet. I'm going to kill you all. And you're going to try to defend humanity. So, hello, alien. Hello, human. We're going to kill you. I, I can understand that. <laughs> <laughs> but if you're going to do it, please do it uh, as painlessly as possible because we, we feel a thing called pain, which is very uncomfortable. And I if do we are care to... about your pain. You sound rather detached from the demise of the entire human race. We've had a good roll of the dice, and I think we've screwed it up pretty badly. 